Hi everyone. This video will explain how to activate your Combox. Co connect your Combox to a screen, keyboard, and mouse. Please note, you can activate the Combox without being connected to your controllers or to the web. However, if you want to start managing your controllers or to connect remotely to controllers, you need these connections set up. Let's start now. Turn on the Combox. You'll see the farm activation screen. The farm activation screen appears only the first time that you connect to the Combox. Fill in all the fields. You can type whatever farm name you like. This is the name that will appear on the Rotom Net web application. I'll give a name Farm61. Under Farm Type, choose one of the following Poultry, Pig, or Pig AC2000. The baud rate and COM port have default settings. If you need to change them, click on the pencil and choose from the drop down list. Whichever baud rate you choose, make sure that your controllers have the same rate. Select the number of houses connected to the COM box. Next, click Activate. OK, we've now activated the COM box. A pop up appears asking if you want to scan your farm houses. Click Start Scan if the COM box is connected to the controllers. Click Cancel if the, far, if the COM box isn't connected. Now a second pop up appears asking if you want to connect to the web. Click on OK to connect your COM box to the web. If you want, you can be reminded to scan at a later time. Alternatively, click Don't Remind Me. If you decide not to connect now, you can always connect by clicking on the Farm Setting tab in Rotomnet Web. Now, the login screen to Rotomnet Web appears. The Rotomnet Web allows you to see your farm via the com box that you just activated. If you have a Rotomnet Web user name, just log in. If this is the first time that you're logging in, click Sign Up Now. That screen appears. Type in your username. I'll type any name you like. I'll write Ben. Type in your email address. Add a password and confirm it. Click Create a User. Done. Keep in mind, any person connecting to Rotonet Web needs his own username and password. Use the same username when installing a new com box or accessing Rotonet Web. The Farm Web Connection screen appears. In this screen, you attach your farm to a group. Let me explain. A group is the virtual unit that Rotonet Web uses to manage farms. Every farm must be a member of a group, even if the group includes only one farm. Write the name of the farm group that you want to create and click Attach to Group. For example, I'll make a group called Northwest. At this point, Northwest includes Farm 61 only. In the future, if you want to add more farms or users to Northwest group, no problem. Via the group, you not only manage farms and users, but you can also decide about access rights easy, easily and effectively. Note for any returning user, if you have already created groups or if your Rotomnet web user is part of other groups, then you can simply click the checkbox next to the group name that you want to attach to and attach your farm to that group. At this point, the activation process is completed. Assuming that you have scanned your controllers and are connected to the web, you can now use Rotomnet Web via any browser, whenever, wherever you are, via any device. I hope that this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to, to contact Rotom Tech Support.